Hi, everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to open and edit avatar. So let's get start. The first step is to open avatar. We click on the resource library icon on the right. Go to the library. Click on avatar. You can see the six folders of boy, child, female, girl, hanger, male, and other avatars we imported. In the following introduction, we use female avatars as an example. Click on the female folder, find the avatar file. You can double click to open avatar. Or right click and click load to open avatar so that the avatar is added. If you need to add more avatars, you can open the resource library again. Find the avatar file, open the avatar and change the load type to add. Avatar appear in origin by default. You can right click avatar, click on freeze, move avatar to the side. In the avatar window, you can see the avatars. Click avatar. You can edit the avatar in the property editor. Click name to change the appearance of the avatar, but the hair will not change when change the appearance. Click edit avatar to edit the size and emotion of the avatar. Click arrangement. You can edit avatar's range volume and arrange point. By default, Avatar has multiple arrange volumes such as body, arm, leg, etc. Click range volume, edit height, and x, y values to change the size. Click range volume on avatar and a set piece will appear. Drag the set piece to move or rotate the range volume. You can delete or add range volume as needed. Click range point. You can delete an range point. You can edit the x and y values to change the position. If you need to add a new range point, click add. Select the range point you just added. Select range volume. Adjust the position of the range point by editing X and Y values. Click avatar size. In the upper left corner, you can change the size of the avatar, such as S, M, L, XL. It is also possible to edit the dimensions of some parts separately. For example, the height and bust circumference of the avatar. Change the details to advanced to get more options. On full body, upper body, arm, leg, height, length. You can edit the avatar size more personally. Click Emotion. In the upper left corner you can use the preset emotion, such as Happy, Angry, Grace, Thinking, etc. You can also adjust Avatar's emotion by editing the values of the options below. Change Detail to Advanced. Can edit Avatar's emotions more flexible. Options include eye, mouth, around eyes, around mouth, around nose, face shape and other details. 
You can adjust the position of the eyebrows or the size of the eyes. Return to Property Editor. In the Pose, you can use the downloaded pose. Open the pose list. Click the pose name to change the pose. In addition to the basic A and I poses, there are also some poses used to show the garment's effect. Click Resource Library. In the corresponding avatar folder, you can find the pose folder. More poses can be found in here. Move the mouse over the preview to view the effect. Click to download the file. In the resource library, double click or right click to replace pose. If you don't find the pose you want, you can also edit the pose by yourself. Click Show Skeleton. You can see that four buttons appear in the upper right. The first button controls whether to enable it joint. After it is turned on, you can adjust the pose of the avatar by dragging the it joint points. The second and third buttons control the number of joint points affected. Turn on full body. Move joint points. You can see that the entire avatar is affected. Open the part body and move the joint points again. You can see that only some of the surrounding joint points are now affected. The fourth button is Rotate Angle Limit, Close Button. The rotation angle of the joint is not limited. Turn on this button. The rotation angle of the joint is limited. Now it is more in line with the range of motion of human joints. Click on the joint point. An icon will appear in the upper right corner. Click the icon. And when you rotate the joint point, the symmetrical joint point will also rotate with it. By adjusting the position of the joint points, you can edit the pose you want. Pose editing completed. Close Show Skeleton. Right-click Avatar. Click Save Pose. Name this pose. And you can use this pose. In Accessory, you can replace hair and shoes. Open the hair list. These are the hair that can be used. Open the shoes list. These are usable shoes, including flat shoes and high heels. Similarly, more hair and shoes can be downloaded from the library. In the skin, you can change the skin of the avatar. In addition to the difference in whether there is underwear or not, you can also use other avatar stickers. More files can be downloaded from the resource library. In Material, you can edit the material of avatar's skin, hair, and shoes. Select hair in the material list. You can edit the color of hair and edit the render type of hair. Similarly, we can edit the material of shoes. Select shoes in the material list. Edit the color of shoes. Then let's show you how to add actions to avatar. Click tool. Open the animation editor. Click the move to the right of the avatar name. You can see the preset move list. Hover over the move name to preview the move. 
Some of the actions distinguish between flat shoes and high heels. If the avatar has no shoes or wears flat shoes, choose the action of flat shoes. If the avatar is wearing high heels, the action marked high heel should be selected. Click play. You can see that the shapes of the feet of the two avatars are different, and the feet of the avatar loaded with the action marked high heel are inclined. The show actions are also different. Click on the resource library, and you can find more motions in the motion folder. Undownloaded files can be used after clicking download. Double click or right click to add motions. Select the name of the avatar you want to add. The added move will be loaded after the previous move. The above is an introduction to open and edit avatar. That's it guys. And I hope some of the tips will help your modeling work. If you like what we do, please liking, commenting and sharing this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in next video. Goodbye.